smell of all this nice gravy and some beef and vegetables. It almost looks like we're, we're preparing a comfort food recipe today, are we, Walter? Yeah, we're, gonna, we're working with a new product uh, Mama Deeds developed, which is her, her family's secret recipe for her pot roast. Oh, well, we're getting and, some secrets from yeah, Deeds and Watson. Yeah, okay. and, and so what, uh, what Deeds and Watson decided to do, they decided to package it up and let the whole world have it. What a treat. So now everybody can buy their pot roast and just do what I'm doing to it today. And welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today I'm joined by Chef Walter Stain from the City Tavern Restaurant, and we are here enjoying Mama Dietz's own original recipe for pot roast, a new item from the Dietz and Watson yeah. kitchen, Mama Dietz's own pot roast of beef, which is a real treat for us. What's unique, what you gotta remember, however, it's just the flavor of the pot roast. It is not a pot roast as you think of, that is all cooked in the gravy for hours. So basically, it's cooked down to a medium rare level, so you can use it for roast beef sandwiches, for anything else like that. But it has the flavor of a real pot roast in it. So that's unique. It's cooked in vegetables, slowly cooked. It's hand tied with, with, a, with a string. So it's done like in the old fashioned way. Yes, yeah, so from the really old good. country. Yeah. Just like everything from Deep yeah, Sea exactly Original right. recipes, natural ingredients, yeah. natural seasonings. You can actually even see the carrots yeah. and the parsley all throughout. And actually, like you were saying, this is already a fully cooked item. So if we wanted to, we could just purchase this from the meat department, slice it down as it is. That's exactly what you do. Okay. That's the reason I'm opening it up for you to see it. It's just here right it here. Is. And you have all the different the carrots and the it celery. It's like your home, right? Yeah. And your mom makes you know, delicious you got a beautiful hot roast. You've got a little flavor on that. Since obviously, this is again one thing that is a labor-saving uh, meal. Right. You, don't, you don't have to slave over your stove. Right. So what I do, because I have the luxury now of having this meat already cooked, I can concentrate a little bit more on the accoutrements, the things that go along with it. Very good. So what I'm going to do today, I'm making a quick, uh, you can call it a sauce, a chasseur, you can call it a mushroom sauce, whatever you want to call it. It's a real easy little sauce that anybody can make. So what's unique about it, any store-bought uh, uh, gravy would work. So okay. it's not like difficult. You don't have to use a demi-glace. But if you want a demi-glace, you know, my book in the yes. back has the demi-glace recipe that works. Most of your cookbooks, I mean, all of your cookbooks <laughs> have the demi-glace What recipe. I do is I put butter in a pan, Okay. I butter a little bit of bacon, this is a decent amount of bacon. Okay. And let it just sit for a little bit, lift this right there. And uh, here we so go. So instead of slaving for hours, because pot roast we know usually takes hours and hours to cook. You don't have to. Uh, you know, in the nice vegetables, we don't have to do it. So Absolutely. we can focus more on the sides. That's and, exactly and what we're going to do. Just and fancy when, it up. when I'm talking about sides, I'm also talking about one of the things that I'm uh, not as reasonable, but I just love the idea seasonal vegetables incorporated yes. into it. Like today, I'm making a medley of vegetables. Look what I have on my plate. We have seven I have, minutes. I have yellow beets, I have fiddleheads, I have beautiful dis different colors of cauliflower, Love that. some green beans, some white, white beets, a little celery, and a little bit of carrots. Baby car bounty of spring. And what I'm gonna do very simply later, I'm just gonna put this in a little, little bit of butter yes. and saute it, a little salt and pepper, nothing more to it. And I would serve this on the side with the pot roast. You're keeping know? it very simple. Kind of simple because the pot roast itself has a lot of flavor. Yes. It's really powerful. Mashed potato, everyone knows how to make it, so I made it already. We have it right Beautiful. there. So it's a real, like you said, a comfort meal. No comfort question about meal. it. Comfort meal. And yeah. you have, uh, ask, actually, you also have the smashed potato recipe in your cookbooks, yeah. too, which we always love. You smash, smash, eat the way you like it. Here we go. Onions in here. A little bit of the bacon. The bacon, you don't want to crisp it all. You just want the flavor out of it. Okay. Like about so. Then I have the mushrooms that uh, I already cut. Regular button mushrooms? Well, but I have actually two kinds. I have button mushrooms, I have cremini. And I was oh. trying to tell you, if you feel a little adventurous and you like to put in some shiitakes or maybe some chanterelles or right. some saps, the sky is the limit. Or okay. I should say, it depends on your budget. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. So. Well, you know, again, you know, we're, we're starting out with a, a, a very simple uh, item and very high quality item. So we can maybe spend more time, like well, we're doing now. That's on for sure, but that like I said, uh, uh, look here, like I said many times in cooking, I'm just giving you what I would wanna do. Yes. There is no right and there is no wrong. Yes. People always ask me to say, what's your, why do you like uh, cooking, or what's unique about cooking? And I tell people, what's unique about it, when you have a meal served, and yes. your people that you serve it to are so excited, it's yes. instant gratification of your artistic work. Well, it's like it's like an artist, it's like an actor <laughs> but you don't or a singer have to wait, on stage. But you don't have to wait until the painting sells. You have That's your painting right. on the plate. There That's you go. Right. Okay, so watch here. I don't put nothing in there. Just a little butter. Take a look. Very simple. Okay. And I don't blanch them. 
Nothing. Okay, so not even blanched. No, no, no. You want to make the, you want to keep them crispy? Is that why? Walter? Not necessarily crispy, but I want to make sure I don't put too many other flavors into it. I want the vegetable to speak for themselves. Okay. Now here we can just put deglaze a little bit with. Uh, right here. Which one? This one here, the, oh, the this red one. Okay. A little red wine in there. Okay. Little red wine. Yeah, that's good. Not much more than that. You got okay. it. Very good. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put a couple, couple ladles of uh, gaming glass. Now remember, like I said, any store-bought gravy for this would work. You do not have to, you know, because all so, I'm gonna do then later is slice the the, the pot roast and I put it back into the sauce just for a little bit. And just to then reheat it. Yeah. I want you to get a little taste of that. Taste that because you can just Look eat it this. cold. But I want you to get the flavor. I like flavor. how you gave me the piece with the nice seasonings <laughs> on the outside. I want you to get the flavor of the the pot roast. Mm. It's beautiful flavor, isn't it? It's like home. Yeah, but it look at like it. Home. But they cooked it in the temperature. Beautifully that cooked. You don't, yeah, that you don't have to. Medium rare. Yeah, it's really the flavor. It's the really what you get is the philosophy flavor. of the pot roast. Yes, that's what it is. Now you've been you've been around Walter, you know, for a long time. No, why? Time or something. Why is this? <laughs> <laughs> why is this item? Superior to other items that we could get in the marketplace. Well, it's just I mean, different. It's a different flavor, different texture. And quality and also. Quality, but also it makes it very simple and very easy. And it's a beautiful thing sometimes. You know, we, everybody's so busy our days that it's difficult to produce this meal. If you would make this meal from scratch, yes. you're talking three, four hours. Yes, Because you have truth. to cook it, you got to keep your eyes on it. It's the truth. Here, you make the mashed potato, you do a little vegetable, and you're in business. And nowadays, we don't have three or four hours. You know, no, nobody work. has time. That's why. Uh, mothers work, wives well, work. Well, I think this is why I'm saying to you that I think what Dietzen Watson does is so appropriate right now because it's labor saving, but it doesn't have to take away from the flavor or from the experience when you eat it. That's yeah, the whole so the point. the quality. Our vegetables are ready. Look how Beautiful. nice it is. And look how they, they, the colors brighten up too. Right there. And then we'll plate up the, uh, the pot roast. So glad you used fiddlehead ferns. I love fiddlehead ferns. Well, when they're in season, I love them too. I can't, I can't help it. It's just something about fiddleheads that... Uh, I know. Well, again, like you said, it's, it's like a diamond. I mean, six weeks, you said, is the yep. really growing season for them. So we have to use them so now I'm going to obviously make a little bit more abudanza for us. Where's abudanza? I know you like abudanza. Mm -hmm. This is your middle name, I know. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's Tina Marie Abu A. Tina Marie Abudanza. Walter A. Walter Abudanza stayed. So now I'm going to put the, the pot roast Lay right on here, one. I like how you added the bacon to the sauce, too. Oh, it makes too. a nice I'm, flavor. I'm sure mm -hmm. it's going to add it's, a it's, nice It's flavor. like a classic sauce, uh, sauce chasseur, mm -hmm. if you want to call it, but it makes it just really good. Hold on a second. Give you a little bit more sauce on here, clean the plate. Beautiful. There we go. You want to pour us a little bit of red wine with that? I would love to. And we're having, I picked out a nice Merlot to go with this. Yep, it's perfect Make sure for to idea. stand up to the nice yeah, deep flavors of our pot roast. How lucky we are to uh, be enjoy enjoying Mama Dietz's original recipe. Well, you know. It's almost like being in her kitchen. You and you and Mama Dietz. Me and Walter Mama Dietz, yeah, Dietz. well. Hold a second, I'll give you a little chives on top. Brighten up our plate. Just a little bit. You make it look so easy for us. It is easy. How simple was that? This is real life yes. time. You saw it. And I can't wait to enjoy some of this great flavor. You know, this is how I like to eat pot roast. I like to dip my meat into the mashed potatoes. Really good. Now you tell me. Mm. Is it a bomb or not, huh? I feel like it's a Sunday. It is Sunday. It's a Sunday dinner with Walter Stabe and Mama Deeds. Is good, better than that. Beautiful little veggie here on the side. Too. Let's toast first, though, to Salute. your ingenuity. Mm -hmm. Takes two to tangle. Yes, it does. Ethan Watson and Walter Stay. Yes, it does. <laughs> and we're lucky to have you both. Thank you, Walter. Ethan Watson, expect the best.